Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a love reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. Okay, before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know I'm having a sale on my services at zenwithinme.com. All that information is down below in the description box. Okay, and I got a new deck that I'm introducing to you guys. This is the Chakra Insight Oracle deck. Okay, so without further ado, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. What do they need to know regarding their love life at this time, please? What messages do you have for Aquarius regarding their love life? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have, okay, the Six of Wands and the Page of Cups. Okay, this is nice. Okay, one, one more, please. One more card for Aquarius regarding your love life. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Aquarius? Oh, nice. Nine of Cups. Okay, this is beautiful for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands here. So this is uh, recognition. Let me show you. Triumph, great news. Efforts recognized by others. Recognition, like I said. So beautiful thing. Page of Cups. Okay, so this is messages of love. So you are getting recognized for all your wonderful efforts. People will be reaching out to you, sending you kind, kind words and getting like even congratulating you. So if you've been recently engaged or something like that, people will be telling you in here with the nine of cups, it's a wish come true. So whatever it is that you were wishing for, like I said, for some of you, I'm seeing that um, over the holidays, you may have gotten proposed to. So people are going to be reaching out to you saying, oh my God, congratulations. That's wonderful. You know, whatever it is, since this is a love reading. However, it resonates in your love life. You could have even had a, um, a baby or announced to people that you're pregnant. So now all these people are going to be coming in and reaching out to you, congratulating you, um, saying all these loving, kind things. Okay, if it's just you as a person in a relationship with someone, they recognize how wonderful you are, how hard you work, how kind you are, like all great things about you. And they're going to make sure they let you know constantly. Okay, and this recognition, this beautiful treatment, this is a wish come true for you. Okay, because who doesn't want to be recognized for their efforts? Who doesn't want to be told, hey, you're amazing and I love you and I appreciate everything that you do for me. So that's pretty much what this reading is about here. And you just feel, again, I'm feeling so fulfilled, so happy that you have all this love and this happiness that's a wish for you, that's come true. You have all this love and this happiness and this abundance in your life and you are just so happy and grateful that you have this and that these people are telling you they love you and all this beautifulness that you have here. This is just a fantastic reading. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life? Now, love reading is normally about love relationship, but it can be with family and friends, okay? So if you're single, but you have a very happy home life with your family and friends, it could be that you're surrounded by people that they just tell you you're awesome and wonderful and they love you, okay? Okay, so we have spiritual awakening here. Forgiveness. Now everybody's situation is different, so I'm just going to tell you the messages of these cards. And then I also recommend that you look up the crystal. Okay, you're feeling very empowered. That is for damn sure with this reading because you feel like you're on top of the world with all of this, this appreciation that's being shown to you. All this gratitude, all this love, all this respect that's being shown to you. Okay, relationship healing. So... Here we have these relationship healing and forgiveness. So if you were maybe on 
on bad terms with someone and now they're like, oh my God, I have this spiritual awakening, you know, and I realize that you are amazing and I'm going to come and tell you this, you know, because you, you deserve to know this and I finally realized this and I want you to know, like you're awesome. And they're going to try and for those of you that need to have this relationship healed, they're going to ask for your forgiveness, okay? And trust. There's a lot of trust here with these people around you or this one person specifically that you may be dealing with that is uh, showing their gratitude and appreciation of you and the kind of person that you are. And for those that need relationship healing, it could be that it was a trust issue that uh, forgiveness needs to be seen here. What other messages do we have for Aquarius regarding their love life? Okay, the archangels and the animals have a lot to say. <laughs> okay, so we have butterfly here. Be ready to transform with wisdom, Archangel Premalek. Yeah, so you're feeling empowered. You're ready to start 2020 with a bang because you, you have all this love that you're surrounded by. You kind of feel like untouchable, but in a good way. Like the, the sky is the limit. There's nothing that you can't do. When you have all of this love and respect that's coming your way. All this recognition. Snake, live according to your divine essence, the elemental kingdom. Bat, see through illusion into truth. Archangel Durenko, so that's focused with uh, the trust card here. Pig, maintain self-worth and self-esteem. Archangels Mary, Gabriel, and Uriel. Swan, demonstrate grace and majesty, Archangel Bokpi. So look up these animals, these archangels, these crystals. You can always go back, rewind it, and pause it so you can read what the card says. Panda, stay balanced and in your essence, Archangels Mary, Jophiel, and Sandalphon. Camel, be forbearing and patient, Archangel Jophiel. Eagle, seize opportunities courageously, Archangel Bokpi. And Wolf, be independent but work together, Archangel Zariel. Okay, so let's see now with the new deck, the Chakra Oracle deck. What messages do we have for Aquarius? Bear with me, I'm still breaking them in. Okay, so we have the Heart Chakra that fell out here. So there's definitely a lot of energy here with your heart chakra. Oh, actually, I'm just trying to shuffle. Got to break him in. <laughs> okay, what other messages do we have for Aquarius? Okay. Okay, so yeah, somebody really needs forgiveness because this is another forgiveness that came up. Letting go, healing, growth, and compassion. And this is green, so it actually matches with the heart chakra. Okay, let me show you this beautiful card. other messages do we have for Aquarius? All right, lots of messages from the Moonology deck for you. Let me just make sure I got them all. Yes. Okay, so we have the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. Nothing will come of this situation. So the person that may be coming in asking for forgiveness, for some of you, you may say no, nothing may come of that. Step out of your comfort zone. 
You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So you may be dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, or a Cancer. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. And take time to breathe out. Okay, so let's see. We have one two full moons, and two new moons. Okay, so this is a timeless reading. So based on when you watch this, you can look to see as far as timing goes with these new moons and full moons. You can just rewind back and write down, um, or you can full moon in Virgo, new moon in Taurus, new moon in Cancer, and full moon in Gemini. Okay, to see which is uh, relevant with your time frame. So that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. This is a very beautiful reading, very positive. You are recognized and you are loved and you are being told so. And that is always a beautiful thing. So many blessings to you. Peace and love. And I will see you in the next reading.